The One. first step in making delicious... Over here. <clears throat> the first step in making delicious pierogies is grab a pot just like this. Number two. Over here. Step number two. Fill the pot with water with a sink like this. Now you're going to want to fill it at a substantial... <laughs> at a substantial uh, height. <laughs> and you want to get the meniscus to form just beautifully at the halfway point on this pot. Now, for those of you who ain't taken school science, meniscus are the bubbles that form on top of water. All right, now, now, we'll, <laughs> now we're talking. Step number three. Put your water. <clears throat> Step number three. Put your pot of water on top of the stove, and then you're going to put it on a medium flame. Step number four. Important is you put on the top of your pot because it makes the water stay hot. Like so. You want to take a few moments with this step. Precision is everything. Don't stop until you get it just exactly. Step number six. To 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 right a little, a little more. Good. Step number six. <clears throat> Open the packages of the pierogies. I find it best to do a to do a sweeping type of method where you go under that. And you open the other one, and there you go. You got some sweet baby pierogies. Now we wait for the water to boil. Meanwhile, as we wait for our water to boil, we chop up an onion. Just get in there. Now, it's all about the technique in here. You gotta be very careful where you're gonna slice your, your little upper pinky gadgets. And it's okay if you cry. <laughs> oh my. Sometimes it's gonna sting a little. Oh my god. Like this, I question everything in my life. I'm not crying, it's my allergies. <laughs> Sorry for that uh, little technical difficulty we had back there. You know, onions just really get to me. Anyway, now you want to chop them up in, in, uh, in slices like I am. Do you really need a certain shape to go for? No, you don't. As long as it gets the getting. Then they're getting good. Step number eight. Grab a pan. Some, something similar to this. Apply medium flame to the pot. Pan. Put olive oil in the pan. Step nine. Nine. Grab onions and put them in the pan so they saute like so. Mmm, when I hear that frying sound, reminds me of good home cooking back in old Louisiana. Now that your water is boiling, pour the pierogies in the water. Carefully raise, cover, then pour like so. Done. Step 11. Every so often you want to stir the onions so they do not burn and they can nicely caramelize to give the pierogies that real nice flavor. Well, it's that time to check the pierogies. Like you're in luck, your pierogies are done. Put the pierogies in the strainer to get, ow, ow, <laughs> ow, to get the water out. Ah, careful, you don't, or the steam, it's hot. Now take your pierogies and put it in the pan so we can fry. We're mixing the fried and sauteed onions with the the pierogies, and now to really get that maximum flavor action. And that's your finished product. Pierogies with onions. Mmm. Delicious.